Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. You know what that says, right? It says live.perillo.com. But you may not have been able to detect that with your own eyes unless you're really, really skilled at reading QR codes. That's why they developed software to help read barcodes like these. And it may already be on your phone, or if you have the iPhone, you know you can download some uh, QR software. Uh, QR is short for quick response, or at least software that will help you interpret these images. You know, uh, I'm thinking, uh, wouldn't that make an amazing tattoo? Seriously, I mean, like a QR code tattoo? I don't know if it's been done. I'm sure barcode tattoos have been done. You know, regular old you know barcodes that are usually you know on the backs of products. Well, these are used in print, so you could take a picture of it with your phone, and then whatever action would then be carried out. Uh, it, say it was a link to a website or more information about the product. Uh, you you can use the software that's in your phone. I mean, just on its own doesn't mean much. And there's other uh, uh, you know barcode uh, pictogram you know, schemata that are certainly floating around, including the uh, semicode or data matrix, and this is somewhat different, but it's the same string of characters, the uh, the website, live.perillo.com. Actually, it's http colon slash slash live.perillo.com. If I wanted to create something for my name, I could say Chris Perillo, and then click on generate QR code and data matrix, page refreshes, and now that's uh, right there. That's Chris Perillo. That's, that's me. I don't know if I'd get that as a tattoo, but that's how I would generate the image. And then, of course, it's just a regular old image that I can copy, drag to my desktop, let it go, and then it's you know saved to my desktop, and I can print it out and put it in printed materials or somewhere on you know a billboard, wherever I wanted to put the uh, QR code or the semicode data matrix. Uh, you know, this is just uh, another service that uh, may come in useful. Uh, it's not going to help you translate QR codes, uh, but you would then again use software to do that because you're probably going to see these floating around, not necessarily on the web because you're kind of already there, uh, but more in printed materials or things out in the real world, as in not cyberspace. The name of the website where you can generate these codes is INVXINVIX. That's INVX.com. And I've got to thank, as I look at the email here, Roberto Mueller. I probably slaughtered his last name because there was an umlaut over the U. Mueller? 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 INVX.com. My email address is chris at perillo.com. If you have any other uh, web service, site, software, hardware, whatever recommendations to make, drop me a line. And, of course, you're also welcome to join our community of tech enthusiasts at geeks.perillo.com. And many of them are also hanging out in the chat room. Uh, we're typically talking tech, uh, you know, talking about things that other people wouldn't be talking about, like how to create barcodes. Only we would care about them. And maybe you don't even care about them yet. But you will. Mark my words. You will. Just to prove it, I'll show you Tell me, going over the way, going simply pressing the button, generate the code here. You know what I generated here, right? We're live 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com.